When it comes to cases and other spaces for your deck boxes that you want to transport to places, there is a plethora of selection from which to choose how best to protect your collection. That's why this video will compare and contrast the new Legion Continental, the updated and upgraded Ultimate Guard Superhive, as well as Ultimate Guard's newest offering of the Smart Hive, and newcomer to the scene game Genix Dungeon. What terrors await? Well, let's not be late and let's take a look. Let's begin with the Legion Continental. Designed, no doubt, in response to everyone's excitement over the Blackfire Garage, which it is worth noting was not manufactured by Legion, but instead just distributed by them. The Legion Continental is an obvious sign the company saw customer interest and excitement in the product and wanted to give it a go themselves. The result is an extra large premium deck box with fully removable cover that attaches to the bottom of the box, meaning no pesky giant lid getting in the way of your table's surface area. Designed to hold multiple deck boxes in its two compartments, you can also fit several rolled up play mats in one. Though of course the real purpose is for deck boxes or, if you wish, just the cards. The size of these compartments is great as you can store standard top loading deck boxes, whether made by Legion or quite frankly any company. I really like that this is sized for whatever deck boxes you own, not just proprietary deck boxes. So that means Ultimate Guard boulders fit, as do Ultra Pro Satin Towers. A wide variety of sizes and styles can be accommodated. While obviously the specific deck boxes you are storing affects how many it can hold, I would say each compartment stores about five to six of the standard 80 plus size deck boxes, or roughly a little over 1,000 double sleeved cards, which means this can be used for cube storage as well. The interior is lined with a cloth fiber and the exterior a thick faux leather. Materials are not the overall greatest, and though it is a minor issue, I did notice some marks and indents forming the more I used the Continental. Again, this is both aesthetic only and very minor at that. It's overall very, very nice, but I did feel the need to mention these little signs of wear that I noted. So my only other complaint about the Continental is that for some reason, when the lid has been placed on the bottom like this, the magnets do not feel as secure as when they are placed on the top. I can really feel it. It feels like there's slightly stronger ones on the bottom than for on the top. And well, I know that again, <laughs> That seems minor, but there you go. That's kind of what I found happened is as I used this a lot, you can even see right here a little bit. If you don't line it up just perfect, it's a very loose hold and I, that isn't a big deal. If you've got it like this, then you've got it to the side like so. Let's really see how well this holds. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nearly half a dozen, eleven uh, decks in here. That's heavy. And I want to say in advance, because we'll be doing this with all of the cases, that the shake test really is not that important for something such as a large case meant for holding lots of decks, because that is an enormous amount of weight, and this is mostly meant to be put on your shelf, taken off, maybe some transport to and from. Uh, but let's find out. There's a lovely little lip here, and I'm glad that they have that, that helps add. There's a little protrusion there, and the lip catches on there to add to the security. Here we go. And right off the bat, and I've already tested this, obviously. I know the results. But the, just the fact that I can do this with it is great. That's really all I need. If it fell apart right now, that's where I would start to complain. If I shake this once and it all falls down, I'm okay with it. I'm not going to be complaining about the magnetic seal or the lid staying closed because this is heavy. So here we go. Oh wow, look at that. It's amazing what just a little lip, a little protrusion can do. Now I've gotten this to open and it will open, but imagine this jostling around in your trunk and there you go. It's really that force, it's keeping it from popping open. I, I really just wish, I don't know what the deal is with, <laughs> let's close it like this, with those magnets. 
is, but I'll actually kind of, you know, demonstrate. Whoa, there you go. It's very minor, but just big enough that I wanted to point it out. Price is $80. This is a solid solution whose only issues are relatively minor. They didn't quite replicate that garage, but they came very close and the grade is a B plus. Next up, not one, but two products from Ultimate Guard. First, an old product that I was not too keen on upon which they have improved, the Super Hive. The Super Hive is a deck box storage case that aims to provide room for deck boxes and play mats. If you'll recall, from my previous review, this is a goal I find somewhat dubious. So basically, this can hold about half, depending on how you count it, of the Legion Continental. So five to six boulders are similarly sized boxes. Or if you're just talking sleeves, about 550 double sleeved cards. Plus on the top compartment, one to two play mats. And the problem is that the play mat compartment isn't really designed for holding anything but. So while you technically can fit a few extra small deck boxes in there, if you don't mind them both loose and flopping around. I really wouldn't recommend it. It's not intended for that and you probably shouldn't do it. And there's absolutely no way to fit and safely store cards in that top compartment. It's for play mats only. The Super Hive also comes with a small pullout compartment for dice and counters. Now, the improvement over the old version is that Ultimate Guard has added a small indent for latching shut the lid. One of the issues with the old Super Hive was that the five deck boxes, well, that gets rather heavy, doesn't it? And the former Super Hive's magnets were rather weak. So Ultimate Guard has responded by installing a more physical means of securing the lid. There's a few blemishes on here, yes. Usually the Xeno skin exterior doesn't get them, but these did. And how good is this latch gonna be really? Let's really test though this latch. I've got five Ultimate Guard boulders in there, very heavy. We'll put Tularian Community College playmat available at www.tulariancommunitycollege.com store inside there. And again, there's this little sticky thing on the latch. Scuffs, very minor, but I gotta point it out. The latch is not that secure. It's not like, I wish there was like maybe a magnet pulling it in or a little deeper. Let's see if that works. Now the other Super Hive couldn't do this. Oh snap, ow. I'm not wearing shoes. Whew, that hurt. Okay, so I don't know that this is really getting there with that latch. Just for the purposes of doing this more than once, let's just quickly do that again. Oh, yeah. I, I think this latch design maybe needs a little bit more work. So yeah, is this even really an improvement over the old Super Hive? Maybe this product just isn't for me personally. But when I reviewed the old one, I said, if it's for you, it's for you, but it, it, it's a C, it's a C grade. And I'm, I'm not even gonna increase that. Grade's a C, I'm, I'm glad they've tried to make it more secure, but it doesn't really change the grade. But now here is Ultimate Guard being smart by offering what I think is some real innovation in the Ultimate Guard Smart Hive. Compact design with a fully removable lid. I love of almost everything about this. The lid fully removes, and they say you can use it as a play mat, but no, no, it's not a play mat. It's made with the explicit goal of holding four decks. So that means four standard sized boulders or four commander sized boulders, or just 400 plus double sleeved cards. I right away wanted to use this as an easy way to bring my commander set to friends who don't own decks, but do play. The compact size really helps with transport. And the interior compartment has room for life pad and remote removable trays for tokens, dice, and well, the larger removable tray can hold unsleeved cards such as tokens, but it is just a microt too small to really hold sleeved cards. This is the first very minor issue I have. And again, it is minor, but I would have liked to see that little bit more room to allow for sleeved tokens. I wanna to emphasize that no, you cannot work in extra deck boxes here. This holds four deck boxes, be they for standard or commander. That's what it is 
is intending to do, and that's what you get. Though if you want, you can put a flippin' tray or satin tower in, but I don't see why you'd do this. Lovely blue microfiber interior. Here we've got the latch too, but we also have something else working in our favor, which is that extra large lid wrapping around the box. I've got a feeling when I do the shake test, this is gonna give me some added security. My only other quibble is that compartment for your life pad. While that is handy for pads, both paper and digital, it can also hold those oversized commander cards, something many Magic the Gathering players have asked for for a while, but only if they are unsleeved. Now, this is a little hard to capture on film. I'm trying to demonstrate here that unsleeved oversized cards will just barely exactly fit, and I mean exact, but if you sleeve your oversized cards, as you should, a sleeved one will just be just a microt too much. What a difference a microt makes. The idea of using this as a play mat, uh, I've covered this in other videos, but this does not fulfill that purpose. Remember that a play mat is a play space that you can wash when it gets dirty and messy or you spill a drink on it or get some Tabasco sauce on it. And so this is not fulfilling that requirement. If you use this as a play mat, it's going to get dirty over time just from the natural greases and oils that uh, accrue on our skin, little bits of dirt on our cards. And I can't stick this in the washing machine like I can my cloth and neoprene play mat. So that doesn't do any good. In addition to that, the creases, I've gone over this, I don't want to dwell on it, but all the creases on there for where it needs to fold, this idea of like it unrolls and it's a play mat, they need to stop with that. But what it does provide, which is nice, is that even though this has the same rather, needs a little bit more work latch that the Super Hive has, because it wraps around, wait, make sure, okay. So this is the full weight <laughs> going down. Just wanted to make sure. And there you go, that's a lot better. Love it, and really compact design, and really, this is holding four deck boxes, Super Hive holds five. So, what's the real trade-off? It's so much larger, too, in comparison. Watch. A lot of extra space for not a lot of extra function, and it doesn't stay closed. So while I am not a big fan of the Super Hive, I am a super big fan of the Smart Hive. Look at that, come on. Now that's using your hive. Four decks, standard or commander sized, room for some accessories, super compact, latching lid, fantastic materials, and minus those few scratches I incurred. The idea of the lid doubling as a playmat is not one I can get behind, and I would much prefer it to clasp onto itself than be so big. Price is $69.99, and I am going to say this is an A minus. Now, from GameGenic, is the Dungeon Convertible, the new superlative storage case for deck boxes, cubes, and cards alike. Designed to hold up to 1,100 double-sleeved cards, the GameGenic has a completely removable cover which not only slips onto the bottom of the case, but combines both magnets and a precise locking mechanism to make sure that whether open or closed, the lid is secure. I love this. The magnets guide and hold it in in place and the nubs keep it latched on. Boxes are stored upright and this can hold a wide, wide variety. Premium microfiber lining is spotless and without any bends or bumps, crumps or creases. Exterior is the Hanoisphemir material which provides both a non-slip grip and lovely aesthetic.
This design using the nubs, is that the technical term, nubs, on the lid is just fantastic. So not only does this click, and that probably didn't pick up on camera because you're a little further back, but they weren't lined up right, and I just slid it forward until click, clicked right into place, and they're up, they're on. So much so that I could even pick this up by the lid only, and I promise you I'm not like applying pressure to hold it in place. We have 11 deck boxes in here, that's heavy. I'm just holding it lightly by the lid, fully like this, look, not going anywhere. But that doesn't matter, that's not a big detraction from the Legion. Again, I really wanna stress that, but it's worth noting. Here's where it matters. Here's where it counts. When it's closed, when this is being carried by you or put in your backpack, trunk, the car, something like that. Let's turn it over. And I would never recommend any of these cases to put just loose in a trunk. But look at this, how hard. Open, 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 open. You remember that Mervyn's commercial? If you do, you're over 30. Open, 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 open. I got it. Took a lot. Took a lot. This is just fantastic. Real beautiful craftsmanship, too. I tell you, these shake tests speak pretty well to the Ultimate Guard Boulder. You notice none of these are popping open and, you know, spreading cards. Oh, I don't want to mess up my deck. Oh, desk, deck, desk, deck. All over the place. Whew. And though I don't really factor price into grade, it's pretty impressive that it's $59.99, making it really the best deal around. But just in terms of quality, just in terms of capacity, the pros are endless. And I cannot, for the life of me, find the slightest complaint. And as someone who has always got something to complain about, well, that says something. This is, I feel, perfection and in A+. Plus. As a final note, I know that there are many local game stores closed at the moment. I'm actually gonna include ordering information for as many of these from the Game Genic to the Legion to Ultimate Guard in this video's description. If you do not have a local game store or it does not carry these and cannot order them, always ask if they can order, then you can follow those links. I'm not trying to take any business away from a local game store by providing links to where you can order online, but we are in the middle of a crisis. Many local game stores are offering uh, outdoor pickup and roadside drop-off, things like that. Safe ways that you can still do business. Check their social media, just give them a call. Always support your local game store. I will provide links, of course, in this video's description. Check it out, but remember, whether you are buying deck boxes or just packs of cards, when it is possible, if it is possible, if it is reasonable, try and spend that money where you hope very much soon to be spending time playing this great game, and that is at your local game store. Are you still not playing Pioneer? No more excuses. Blast into the format with Mono Red. Mono Red aggro decks are always a pillar of any constructed format, and also one of the best ways to get into a format affordably. Pioneer's options for Mono Red are hot, hot, hot. 